VW emissions scandal, latest on Dieselgate recalls, compensation and testing. The current state of play in the Volkswagen diesel emissions scandal. Will UK VW owners get compensation? With over a year since the Dieselgate diesel emissions scandal first shook Volkswagen, a US judge has now approved a record high settlement of $14.7 billion, pound 12 BN, from VW to affected US owners. The scandal and the resulting fallout has since forced VW to accelerate its electric future with its strategy 2025 announcement earlier in 2016 that it will launch 30 new EV models over the next decade. Most Economical Cars 2016 The strategy 2025 was the first key announcement by new boss Matthias Mueller, who replaced Martin Winterkorn as CEO. Winterkorn resigned shortly before VW announced that 11 million Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and seat vehicles worldwide would need to be recalled as they contained defeat device software. This was designed to put the car into a lower emissions mode when undergoing emissions tests. The existence of a defeat device put the whole automotive industry under scrutiny, and prompted government inspections worldwide. Although VW has been the only company found guilty of cheating tests, Mitsubishi has since revealed it inflated its fuel economy figures, while Fiat has faced so far unproven accusations. The UK government also launched a £1 million investigation and revealed the majority of manufacturers were using temperature-based strategies to pass lab tests, although this was all deemed legal. Best Low Emissions Green Cars on Sale Now Volkswagen Emissions Scandal Fix VW is currently rolling out the fix for its affected models. A spokesman told us it has already fixed 160,000 of the 1,189,906 cars in the UK. For the 1.2 and 2.0 liter EA 189 engines it's a simple software tweak, the 1.6 liter diesels require a hardware solution. It has pledged to fix all European cars affected by the scandal by autumn 2017. Volkswagen Emissions Scandal Compensation In the US, VW has reached a $15 billion, pound 11.3 BN, deal with US owners to buy back affected vehicles and compensate owners. There are no similar plans for UK owners, although VW is still facing pressure from the EU Commission to put something in place. Best Electric Cars on Sale The scandal isn't over yet, either, as veteran VW engineer James Liang pleaded guilty this month to US federal charges for his role and faces five years in prison. The lawsuit opens the door for further criminal prosecutions in the coming months. The Dieselgate Legal Situation Around the World The scandal has been felt around the globe with legal cases continuing, here's a roundup of the current state of play. Europe. Calls for compensation are growing in Europe but so far VW has rejected claims. A number of owners have started legal cases, though, against the car maker including in Ireland. European consumer groups have already said the VW group has not provided enough evidence and information to owners. USA. Earlier in September, US courts convicted the first VW employee guilty of violating US clean air laws. Veteran engineer James Liang was part of the team of engineers who developed the illicit defeat device. Liang has agreed to cooperate with the US Justice Department's investigation into the VW Group. Volkswagen also reached a $15 billion, 12 billion pounds, settlement with US car owners over the Dieselgate emissions scandal, which has now been approved by the US courts. Under the deal VW will spend up to $10 billion on buying back affected cars and compensating owners. It's also committed $4.7 billion to offset excess emissions and to clean car projects. Vehicle owners will be able to choose between having their car bought back by VW, or to have it fixed. However the US authorities have yet to approve an official fix. On top, consumers will receive compensation between $5,000 and $10,000. South Korea South Korean authorities halted sales of 80 Volkswagen Group models and imposed a £12 million fine on the company after an investigation into the Dieselgate emissions scandal. 
Allegations that the company has forged documents relating to emissions tests have resulted in the vehicles from the Volkswagen, Audi and Bentley brands having their type approval revoked. Company Car Tax Guide 2016 Scroll down for everything you need to know about the VW emissions scandal. VW emissions scandal timeline, how dieselgate happened. Best hybrid cars to buy now. VW emissions crisis. Your key questions answered. What is a defeat device? The software, found by us Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, detects when the vehicle is undergoing emissions tests and activates full emissions control measures to produce results far better than those achieved in real-world driving. The net result is that cars pass strict US emissions limits under laboratory conditions, but when unplugged from the testing rigs, the EPA states that the diesel engines emit nitrogen oxides, NOx, up to 40 times the legal limit. The limits for NOx emissions in Europe are less stringent than the EPA's standards. What cars and engines were affected? Around 11 million diesel cars with EA 189 1.2, 1.6 and 2.0 liter pre Euro 6 diesel engines have been identified by Volkswagen as containing the defeat device software. These include The VW Group has said that the following quantities of UK vehicles are set for a recall. VW Passenger Cars, 508,276 Audi, 393,450 Seat, 76,773 Skoda, 131,569 VW Commercial Vehicles, 79,838 Total VW Group Cars Set for UK Recall, 1,189,906 What does the recall involve? 2.0 liter and 1.2 liter diesels will receive a software tweak, while vehicles with a 1.6 liter diesel will need to be fitted with a flow transformer device to help the engine's computer calculate the right amount of fuel and air being combusted. This means around 400,000 UK cars will require mechanical changes, but VW says they should take less than an hour to make at dealerships. The software update for 2.0 and 1.2 engines will take around half an hour. What should I do if I own an affected car? The VW scandal shouldn't affect your everyday driving, the software only alters the car's behavior when it detects that an emissions test is being carried out. However, VW and the other affected brands have issued recalls in the UK and you will be contacted if your car involved. You can check at the websites below if your car is affected. All you need is your car's VIN number which should be located at the bottom corner of the windscreen on the driver's side or in the car's service book. Will I get compensation? VW has confirmed there will be no compensation for UK owners with cars affected by the emissions scandal. This is based on the fact that the fixes designed by VW are said to have no impact on the car's performance or economy and no EU laws have been broken. At this stage, VW residual values also appear to be unaffected by the scandal. In certain cases a support package may be made available to customers in the form of a goodwill gesture for example if an owner living in a remote area faces a lengthy journey to get the necessary remedial work done on their car. Will I pay a higher vehicle tax rate? No. The Department for Transport, DFT, has announced that UK taxpayers will not incur higher vehicle excise duty, VED, if their existing vehicles are found fitted with the defeat device software. Volkswagen UK has also said it will pay for any extra tax owners might incur if their vehicles are found to pollute more. What does this mean for emissions and MPG testing, how will it look in the future? There are already plans to adopt more stringent emissions and MPG tests in the EU. A World Harmonized Light Vehicle Testing Procedure, WLTP, is scheduled to come into force in 2017, and will introduce a global set of emissions testing standards. The WLTP is developed to be more representative of real-world driving conditions, with more dynamic braking, acceleration and speed times. How to test cars for real-world emissions figures. 
The WLTP will also feature a real-world driving emissions, ride, test, which would consist of a real-world driving scenario for emissions tests. Cars will be hooked to machinery that records their emissions as they are driven on the road and feeds them to a computer.